And so we were kids who went to St. Bernard's and was a little red red four room school. Uh, and they were all nuns from the orphanage that came over. They lived in the orphanage and they came over and taught at St. Bernard's at noon. An eighth grade boy would go to the orphanage to get the, their lunch and bring it back for them to eat their lunch at noon. Sister Sister Anne Marie, Sister Clemens, Mary Clement, and Sister Rosario. Mm -hmm. Rosario or Rosario? Was that the little town? And it was really neat. And then what? Fifteen, twenty, maybe twenty-five kids in the two classes. It was just great. It had more individual instruction. And the church, I couldn't get over. I could see the altar. In St. John's, that big, massive place, they'd take us over for Mass in the morning, and we'd just horse around like kids do if the nuns are looking because they had us in the back. I couldn't see the altar. And the first time I really enjoyed Mass was at St. Bernard's to be able to see what to preach. It was just a whole new world. I just loved it. Our time at school, though, because all these houses weren't. It was cornfields. And you hear the middle of the thing when you walk in the This mm -hmm. teacher is the one that uh, when I really became a student and not, you know, I, I cared enough to, uh, to excel in. And she was a great influence on me. She said, there's always one teacher with everybody and she was it with me. She would work us to death, wouldn't she? And then in the spring, we'd be so caught up, she'd raise the windows where you could hear the birds and read to us everybody. Please. And she was a brain, and I was, I was trying to have fun. My favorite was art, Friday afternoon. The thing I remember too from school, and uh, so does Nick, when we wore the white dresses and the veils, and they'd have processions, would be singing in Latin, going around and around, not have any idea what we were singing or anything. But they don't seem to have it. No, Jim. We had recess, so we had to go out and run around. Jacks, play um, jacks, hot and jump rope. Jump rope. That's all, all usual. No, no uh, Requirements needed to make because we didn't have any equipment. Mm -hmm. We passed and we have to show up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, we'd have to show up in St. Patrick's Day knowing we're going to get out and he'd come over singing off Peter like crazy right from Maryland and then let us all go home. But we had to be there to start with. Father Buckley had a, he would have a, this Irish brogue <laughs> and he would say, you'd say, well, I just killed a man, Father. Oh, very well, no, very well. Don't tell me about it. Just very well. Everything was very well. <laughs> He'd go to confession. Very well, now. And then we always could have art on Friday. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if you that out of my mind, because I still can't, I can't breathe. I can't color and stand in the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you had the brains. Yeah, but what was I doing with with the paint, so I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Happy, Happy anniversary, St. Bernard's. And many more. And we love you. We love you.